Hey, how you guys doing tonight? I'm about to do something really, really stupid with my computer. I'm about to give it a virus. And uh, the reason this has come about is because a friend of mine had uh, visited a particular site that he's not real proud of and uh, needed to get his computer fixed. Brought it over because it was the only computer he had and he couldn't get on the internet. And I was able to find the... Uh, solution for him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to the website uh, that he went to to uh, collect this virus. I'm not going to show you that on film for a number of reasons. So anyway, yeah, now I've got this message that says page is loading. So, yeah, anyway, what this virus is, is it's uh, a threat from apparently the FBI, supposedly. Here we go. There it is. All right, now you can see I'm, if, I'm infected right now, and there's absolutely nothing I can do. You go up and down, you, you've got no way to get to a, uh, a menu or anything like that, and it says your PC is blocked due to at least one of the reasons specified below, uh, and then it goes into uh, something about copyright violation, and it actually tells you that your camcorder is on recording things. So essentially, the only way you can, uh, let me just get out of this, control, alt, delete, and I'm going to uh, log off, change password. Uh, I'm just going to, I'm just going to hit the button. I'm going to restart my computer because at this point you're screwed. There's really uh, nothing you can do without restarting. So... Next, we're going to restart, and I'm going to go into safe mode, and I'm going to show you how to get rid of this thing. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open it up in safe mode. So we just hit safe mode like so. Let Windows go ahead and run. Yeah, this is a pretty particularly nasty virus. Uh, it won't let you get anywhere in anything but safe mode. And in fact, uh, the FBI put out a, a notice on it uh, just like day before yesterday and uh, their notice was call a professional blah 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 you're never gonna probably fix it on your own but it's really not that difficult to do so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the start menu like so and we're gonna type uh, let me get around this camera here percent app data and then another percent. It's going to say roaming, so when it does, let's see if I can get this in here. Yeah, you just click on roaming, all right, and then from roaming you navigate to uh, Microsoft, uh, let's see, Windows, and then you navigate to uh, Let's see, running Microsoft Windows, Start Menu, Programs, Startup. Now you'll see this CFT, let's see if I can get that in there. CFT Mon is what's going to be showing up in your Startup Menu. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and uh, delete that. Uh, let's see, yep, delete. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Now from here, let me scan back out a little bit. Now, I would have liked to have done this on Camtasia, except, you know, this computer just goes to crap and there's no way you can do this in Camtasia. So let me move on a little further down the line here and I'll see, show you what you need to do next. So you go back to the Start menu and now you search for user profile with percent around it. U-S-E-R-P-R-O-F-I-L-E and then you find the affected uh, profile that way and when you do, let me zoom back over to that, you go ahead and open up that profile. Let's do that. And then you look for, hang on a second, uh, 
Okay, you navigate to App Data. Uh, let's see. App Data. Local. App Data Local. And then you're going to find the temp file down here. And there's your temp file. So you open the temp file. Now you're looking for uh, two programs. And the easiest way to do this is it's probably going to be about the last thing that installed. So I would just go up to Date Modified and I would search it by Date Modified. And you're going to find something that looks a little bit like this. Now it might be different but it's going to be an EXE file with something like Zolo or Yulo or something like that, Rolo, and uh, it's going to be an EXE file. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and delete that file completely, get rid of it. All right. Then you scroll down. You're going to look for v.class. So I see that I've got a v class here at the very bottom, and uh, I'll take that and I'm going to delete that. Now something else I noticed is I have this update 00B and it's an application. I don't know what it is but it put itself in there about the same time this other crap did so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that too. Now I'm going to go back up to Date Modified, and I'm going to sort by Date Modified. I can see I've got an Adobe ARM uh, and ARM UI configuration setting, uh, Joost, whatever that is, text document. Uh, there's a couple of temp files here. Well, those are from before. I don't know what this text document Joost is, but not, not very many text documents are, are really relevant to anything. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that too. And uh, yeah, that should, that should be enough right there. So anyway, that's, that's that. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is let's see if we got everything out of there. Just going to go and uh, shut down, actually restart. And we'll give it a minute and see what happens. And uh, as long as we've eradicated the, the threat, then this uh, should be a normal boot up. If it's not a normal boot up, then we haven't eradicated the threat. But anyway, there's three main files you need to be concerned with. And that's going to be the thing that looked like the Zulruk, whatever, PKEXE. And I found that other file, and I got rid of it last time, and I didn't seem to have any problems. They're not calling for that in the instructions, but I noticed that that file was an EX, EXE type file that put itself in there. Uh, the instructions they have on the internet, on YouTube, on other videos are a little older than this, and apparently according to the uh, FBI, because the FBI actually put out a statement on this, which I'm going to link to down below, according to the FBI, that uh, particular uh, virus is different than the one from before. So anyway, that was that's how you eradicate that. Now this is yeah, this is my normal Windows startup. Everything seems to be starting up fine. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open my Mozilla Firefox, which will open in the other side. But I'm going to see if I can get that to open without revisiting the history it was at. Yeah, okay, it's fine. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and report that site and uh, never visit it again, obviously. But that's how you get rid of the uh, extortionist, uh, FBI extortion thing. And basically what they're doing, if you've got this, you already know. They're trying to tell you, if you give us $200, you know, we'll fix your computer. Bullshit. If you give them $200, they're just going to take your $200 and you're never going to hear, see them, anything. You're, you're done. You know, they're done with you. They've already done all the damage you're going to do. And if you send them money, uh, 
you're never going to hear anything back from them. So the best thing to do is just eradicate it yourself. And I hope this has helped you. And, uh, you know, surf safely. Have a good one. Thanks.